sexual. They do weird things in their house. And young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Hold up. Was Dwayne Wade really attending Diddy's freak off parties while Gabrielle Union was at home playing housewife? Y'all might want to get a chair for this one because word on the street is Dwayne is DL and that he's been actively engaging in group freak offs with other men at Diddy's industry parties. This isn't the first time that Dwayne has been accused of sleeping with men and using his marriage to Gabrielle as a cover up for his raging addiction to male booty. But this time the receipt are receding and he cannot deny it any longer. Apparently, this is something he's been doing even before he got married to Gabrielle. And people believe this is the reason why he and his ex-wife divorced. He's been freaking off at these parties with male ex for years and Diddy's been helping him get away with it the entire time. But see, it isn't just Diddy's parties that Dwayne does these things at because back in 2009, he got put on blast by his then business partner, Richard Von Hauptmann, for throwing huge parties in his apartment and inviting over a bunch of male and female as so he and his teammates could hook up with them. Richard revealed this during a heated interview with Page 2 Live where he said, they'd have these parties in there two or three times a week. There were always dozens of people in there, rappers, Dwayne and his entourage, women and men they'd pick up in the clubs. Richard said he knew that some freaky stuff happened in the apartment because whenever he would come back, he would see used condoms on the floor of the bedrooms, obvious signs of intimate activities on the bed, empty champagne, and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts, and half-eaten food just rotting on the tables and furniture. And get this, Dwayne used to bring Gabrielle along to these parties to join him and his teammates for these freak-offs. Word on the street is, they even ran a train on her during one of these parties. Richard confirmed this when he said, at times, Dwayne came with his gal pal and C-list dwelling actress, Gabrielle Union. They both made it clear to me how their goal in life is to have with as many women and men as possible. Mind you, Dwayne was still married to his now ex-wife at the time, but they were in the middle of a very nasty divorce. She had even accused Dwayne of infecting her with an undisclosed STD and abandoning her and her two sons so that he and his teammates could go party with that when she was asked about Dwayne, she said, that man isn't what people worldwide think he is. As if this wasn't enough to expose him for being DL, he came under fire again some time ago when he revealed that he used to play in his sister's dressing room. He said he would wear their wigs and high heels when they weren't around, and this would make him feel more comfortable with himself as compared to when he's dressed like a man. Growing up in the inner city of Chicago, in the hood, you told that boys do this. <laughs> boys play football, boys play basketball, boys play baseball, boys date girls, whatever the case may be. My You're told mold. this is what cheese you mold. do, right? So I'm no different. I'm raised that way. I'm in the locker room. I say all the things that everyone is saying. I'm not sitting up here like I have never done or said anything, right, when it comes against the opposite because I was ignorant and I didn't understand. Right. When it hit when it hit my doorstep at three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, right? And and the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, when all my sisters did, I try to do those things. But it gets even worse from here. Because people also accused him of living out his gay dream vicariously through his trans daughter Zaya. People believe the real reason why Dwayne allowed Zaya to transition into a girl at 12 and fought so hard for her is because he never had the chance to live openly. And he he wants to live out the part of his life through Zaya. One person said, when his son wanted to transition to a girl, I believe Dwayne was so supportive because he deep down wished he could have done that at his age. Another person said, the way he supported his trans daughter told me exactly what I needed to know. She was living his dreams. Now, in case y'all didn't know the backstory to this, Zaya used to identify as a gay boy before eventually telling her parents that she wanted to transition and officially switch her gender. Dwayne immediately filed a petition to have her name changed legally. But Dwayne's ex-wife Savan was not having it because she felt like Dwayne was only intentionally rushing Zaya into making this drastic change because he wanted to profit off the business deals and endorsements that she was gonna get.
Savan also went as far as to file a motion to deny Dwayne's request, but she was shut down and Dwayne was able to get away with this. She wasn't against Zaya's decision to become transition, she just wanted her to wait until she was 18 before making that transition, so she didn't have any regrets in the future. But it isn't just fans who accuse Dwayne of living vicariously through Zaya. Gabrielle actually got into it with the popular rapper Boosie, after he also accused Dwayne of being gay and using Zaya to cover up his own desires to be with men. I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too far, dog. That is a male, a 12 year old. At 12, they don't even know, they don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't even, they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. But his be gone, how you gonna? Gabrielle wasn't here for Boosie speaking on her family and she decided to check him. She insinuated that Boosie was also DL and that's why he felt so triggered by what Zaya does or doesn't do. Uh, he's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is, very it's much almost so. almost like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look You got a lot of <laughs> in your mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's throw like, that out there. It's like Zaya and Lil Nas X living his head. For <laughs> free, so right? Free. Free. Like, what? It's like, sir. <laughs> yeah, um, Something you want to just go ahead and tell us. <laughs> this is a safe space. Boosie was not having it at all, and he collapsed back by accusing Dwayne of being DL and messing with other men behind her back. He said, LOL, the whole world know I love women and the world know your husband love wood. Hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews and here y'all go. Go bang him with that and wait on a script, you little white girl. During this whole back and forth, an old interview that Gabrielle had done some time ago resurfaced where she admitted to eating Dwayne's booty. This made people even more convinced that Dwayne liked having his booty played with. And then there was Jaguar Wright who revealed in an explosive interview that Dwayne was hosting gay parties at his house and inviting a bunch of people in the industry, including male hood. According to Jaguar, she got the tea from someone in the industry who had also been invited to a party. Like all of these f be doing all of this wild. Sh <sighs> they ain't doing as much, I guess, now because they're getting older. I guess it just moved over to the Wade House. Energy transfers. Energy transfers. And I'm not saying that because I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front, so they went to the back and it was a bunch of old f and f young boys back there, all f naked in the Wade House. People believe Dwayne and Diddy have become associates through their shared love for freak off parties, and that's how he became tangled up in all this. In fact, Dwayne is a part of the celebrities who unfollow Diddy to save face. But it's just a matter of time before he's also incriminated. Now, as usual, people had their own thoughts about this, like this person who said, Dwayne is sweeter than grandma's coffee on Easter Sunday. 95% of these celebrities, athletes, and entertainers are not who they portray themselves to be when in front of camera. The truth is more stranger than fiction. Another person said, him promoting his son to be a girl at such a young age and fighting the child's mom to change his and identity proves that he's into these holly weird things. I'm questioning what's happening to his son, now daughter. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Dwayne getting exposed for being DL? And do y'all really think he's involved with Diddy? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.